Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I will demonstrate to you the building of data access layer. We are going to use number of technologies and patterns. We will be using Microsoft Entity Framework. We will be using it as a code first implementation. We will also be using something like repository pattern which is just a way of separating out and logically defining how model will interact with the database. We will be using interface for dependency inversion and abstraction to create a common code base for our repositories. And finally, we will use dependency injection to inject the repository based on the interfaces into our web application. Before we dive into code, I would like to discuss with you first the one layer that we will be doing which is the DAO, Data Access Layer. This is just apart from the whole MBC web application layer. So the topic will cover these letters in red. Okay, let's start on and build our solution. Click the start and then Visual Studio 2019. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is create a new project. Instead of creating a web application, which is what I will normally do, I'm going to go to other project types, Visual Studio Solution, and then Blank Solution. I'm going to give it a name, Store, and click Create. Then I click those, and it creates an empty solution called Projects, and then the there's nothing else in it. If we create a web project first, it would have named it. The subsequent project we put in will get into the top of the main folder and it would not look as neat. And this is why I prepared to create the empty solution first. Okay, let's click new project. Then we'll create a new project. We'll select Windows and all project types. We'll now see this um, class red library. Okay, click next, and then we'll name it as uh, store dot contract. Okay. Um, Let's add it to the solution that we have. It's creating now. Okay, so we'll delete this class. Then we'll create another project. So again, class library, next. And then uh, we'll name this store.model. Store.model. And then the solution, we add it to our solution. Create. And we'll delete this class one again. So file, new project, then another class library. Then we will be naming it as store.dal. And then the solution, create. And then we'll delete the class again. And finally, we will be creating the actual website. Okay, so project. ASP.NET web application. And then we'll name it as store.webui. Then let's add it to our solution. 
create we'll select we'll select NBC and authentication we we'll leave it to no authentication and then we'll create okay so once this is finished we can already start the application that's all for now guys if you have a question comments or anything you want me to discuss please comment it below and if you like this video please hit subscribe button and the notification bell for the upcoming videos thank you for watching